there guys, it's Kim George here from YourChicGeek.com and I want to welcome you to this uh, quick little video tutorial. It's going to show you guys how to um, create a hardcover book or format a journal for a hardcover book for the Amazon KDP platform. So before I dive off into this video, I would love for you guys to like, share, and subscribe. And then also, I want to give a huge shout out to all of you guys for helping me get to the 3,000 subscriber mark. This is just so momentous and i'm so appreciative of all of you guys that are watching the channel i hope that i'm bringing value to your lives and i hope that i'm getting you guys fired up to start creating some passive income products so i'm gonna stop rambling and let's get off into this tutorial but thank you guys so so much you guys are awesome okay so um here i am i am in the back of my uh canva account and this is what i'm going to be using to show you guys how to um, upload your journals as a hardcover template. Now, an important caveat, guys, with this video tutorial is that with the hardcover option for the Amazon KDP platform, what you're going to have to use is the KDP cover calculator, okay? And I'm going to put the link below in this video for you guys so that you can click on this. And this is going to take you to Amazon's own print cover calculator and their templates because these are a couple of these are a couple of things that you are going to need to do the hardcover books okay so as you can see here when you come down you're going to have a section that's going to say enter your book information okay so i'm going to be doing a hardcover option you see they have car cover and they have paperback okay now the interior type that i'm going to be using for this example and this is where you want to choose is i'm just going to use black and white but they do have premium color as an option the paper type is just going to be white paper. I'm not trying to do anything fancy. The page term direction for a hardcover book is always going to be set from left to right. So I'm going to select that. And then this is where you get into your measurement units. And this is going to be in inches. Okay. And so here's where we get to get to the interior trim sizes. So as you can see with the hardcover option, because this is a new option and it's beta, they only have a few options available for you to choose from, okay? So they have a 5.5 by 8.5, a 6, 6 by 9, which is what we're going to be using, a 6.14 by 921, 7 by 10, and an 8.25 by 11, okay? So what we're going to be using is going to be the 6 by 9 option because this is the size of the journal cover, okay? This is the front cover and the back cover that we have over in Canva, all right? And then the page count, I'm just going to do a page count of 100 pages, okay? So I'm going to put that in there, and that's going to be it. Now, this is where you actually want to make sure that you know the correct page count for the journal that you're going to be creating. So if it's 110, 120 pages, 108, whatever that is, you want to put that there. And then you're going to do calculate dimensions, okay? So what Amazon is going to do is it's going to give you the dimensions that you need to put into Canva in order to create the correct front the the front cover and then the back cover for your actual journal so as you can see here for the full cover we have for a six by nine journal for hardcover we need to put in 13.989 so what i'm going to do is hop over into canva i'm going to go to file and i'm going to go to um create a new design. Actually, I'm going to go to resize because I'm just going to be resizing this journal. I'm not going to start from scratch, but I'm going to go to resize. But if you were creating a hardcover journal from scratch, then you would just go to file, create a new design, and you're going to go to custom size, and then you'll go to inches, and then you'll type in the 13.989. Okay. And then for the height, you'll type in the, or copy and paste the 10.417 over into the other, into the height, okay? So that's what you would do if you were creating a brand new design. We're not doing that because we've already created our journal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Canva Pro's resize feature. And this is one of the reasons I love it is because it just makes it so easy for you to take a design that you already have created previously and resize it to a different size. So this is where I'm going to go in and I'm going to put in the 13.989 for the width. And then I'm going to put in the 10.417 for the height. 
So I'm gonna paste these options, paste these dimensions in there, and then I'm gonna click copy and resize. And so Canva is going to do the resizing of the document for me. And so then what I like to do is I like to actually go in and I like to, you know, do hardcover or paperback just so I know which kind of, you know, um, which kind of um, uh, journal I'm working with, okay, for the dimensions. Now, the last thing that I want to do is I definitely like to go in and I like to click to download the template because this is very helpful in making sure that everything is aligned correctly because when you're doing your hardcover uh, journals and notebooks and things like that, if you do a notebook, when you're doing your hardcover books, period, you want to make sure that everything stays inside of these certain lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unzip this file, okay? And then I'm going to extract the PNG version of the file to my desktop. And then what we want to do next is I'm going to hop back over into Canva. Okay. And then I'm going to go to upload to upload the PNG file. So go to my desktop because I think that's where it went. Yep. And this is it. Okay. Okay. So it looks like it's finished uploading. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and pop this on over, over into my workspace in Canva. And then we're just going to resize this, okay, because we want to look and make sure that everything that is on the front cover of the journal, as far as the text and things like that, are inside of these lines right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the transparency feature, and I'm going to start lowering this to make sure that everything is aligned correctly. And as you can see, it's a little crooked, okay? So I'm going to bring this down just a tad. And then I'm going to start kind of uh, minimizing. Let's see here. I'm going to, let's see, where's the lock? I'm going to lock this and then I'm going to lock this and then I'm going to bring this template down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to group this and I'm just going to bring this down just a tad bit so that it can fit in perfectly for my hardcover journal. Okay, so you see what I did? So what I'm doing is I'm basically just lining up the text so that it lines up with this and making sure that everything else is okay. So now I'm going to go here, okay? And that's what it looks like. It looks pretty good. And that is pretty much it. So I'm gonna delete the template that I just created. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download this as a PDF print file. Always make sure that you download as a PDF print to get that um, high quality version of the cover. And then I'm going to go ahead and click done. Okay. All right. So that's going to be downloading. Okay. So now that I've downloaded the cover file for my hardcover journal, the next thing that we want to do is you want to download the interior for your journal. So this is a new gratitude journal interior that I've created. It is a six by nine journal uh, templates, a set of templates that's available over in my shop in case you're interested in this. But this is what we're going to use for our interior file to download and add to our journal over in the Amazon KDP publishing uh, platform. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click download. And then for this, I'm just going to download this as a standard PDF file. And you can see that it's 100 pages. So it's perfect to work with the journal that we're going to be uploading to Amazon KDP as the hardcover journal. So I'm going to let that finish. And then we're going to go ahead and pop over to Amazon KDP to start the uploading process. So in order to do this, you should already have an Amazon KDP um, account. It's free to start. So there's no, it doesn't cost you anything to open it up. But in the back of your Amazon KDP account, to do the hardcover feature, um, you should see this hardcover option here that says beta beside it. This is what we want to select, okay? And so let me sign in. Okay, so you can see that I'm signed in. And so all you're gonna do is you're gonna start coming in and adding your content and the information for your journal. So we're gonna do the book cover or the book title, which is going to be Reasons Why I Love You. And this is just, um, you know, just an example. Okay, guys, so in this section, this is where you're going to continue to add your book title. You'll add a subtitle if you want to add that. Um, this is where you can come in to add your name. So you're going to add your author name. I'm just going to put my name, my government name. <laughs> but this is where you add your author name or your brand name. 
And then this is where you would add your description. I'm not gonna add anything there. For publishing rights, you're gonna do, I own the copyright and I hold the necessary publishing rights because you do, hopefully, right? Um, this is a section where you're gonna add your keywords. I'm not gonna really get into this, but um, I'll just do journal for teen girls uh, and tweens or something like that. But this is where you would fill in those slots. For categories, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose um, just some default stuff because this is just an example. So I'll do uh, crafts and hobbies, general, and then I'll maybe go down to, um, let's see, what's another, let's see here. Then I'll do uh, literary collections and then we will do diaries and journals. That's perfect. So I'll click save, okay? All right, so then we're gonna do save and continue, okay? Oh crap. Oh, so I have to add something. <laughs> Test description. Okay, so that's fine. So I'm gonna click save and continue, okay? So we're gonna do um, assign me a free KDP ISBN unless you have your own ISBN. If you have your own, you would add that here, okay? And then this is where we're gonna do our printing options, okay? So we're gonna do black and white interior with white paper, but this is where you can decide what you want to um, use, what kind of paper you wanna use. Now, different paper will cost more, so just keep that in mind. Um, this is where you wanna do interior trend size. We're gonna leave this as default for six by nine because it is the size of our journal. We're gonna do bleed PDF, and then I like to do mine in glossy, okay? So um, it's gonna say upload your hardcover manuscript. So this is going to be the interior file that we just downloaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and this is the gratitude journal interior, six by nine. So I'm gonna open this and upload this, upload this, this part of the book. So I'm gonna let that finish and then we'll come back and I will upload the cover. Okay, so the interior has been uploaded. You can see here, this is the Gratitude Journal 6x9 interior. So now we're gonna upload our cover file that we just created in Canva. So instead of using the option that says Use Cover Creator, we're gonna go ahead and click down here for upload a cover you already have created, a print-ready PDF file only. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Upload Your Cover File um, this is the uh, journal cover that we just created. This is a little uh, mock-up of it over here. So I'm going to go ahead and click open. And then this is going to start the uploading process. Okay, so we're going to let that finish. All right, so it didn't take long. And so then what you have to do is you want to click launch previewer. And so what this is going to do is um, Amazon is going to start generating a preview for your cover and also for the interior of your journal. So this could take a little bit. So I'm gonna let this finish and then we'll come back and hopefully we don't have any errors popping up telling us to fix anything. So I'll be right back. Okay, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> As you can see guys, this is what the journal looks like. As you can see, this is the title, this is the author name, the type of journal that you're gonna be um, uploading and selling, which is the hardcover, which is awesome. This journal looks really, really pretty. This is the front cover of the journal. This is the back. And so now I'm gonna go over to look at the interior and I think this looks really pretty. And this is why I selected bleed because it, it is going to have some things kind of outside of the margin, so that's fine. Um, but this is what the interior of the journal looks like. And this is just a daily gratitude journal and I think this looks phenomenal. And so once this comes back and there are no issues or anything, you are good to go. And so what you would do is just click approve. Well, I am gonna approve it because then you have to set your prices. And I do wanna talk about that. Now I will say with hardcover journals, um, you definitely wanna make sure that you make something special because they are pretty pricey. You'll see what I mean. So you can see here for the printing cost is $6.80. So I'm gonna click save and continue. And so you wanna definitely think about a price that is going to um, make sense for you, right? That you can make some decent royalties off of since it's $6.80 to do the hardcover. So I would do something maybe like, uh, let's see, $15.97 for it, let's see. So that's a pretty good royalty or maybe even $16.97 just depending on what kind of journal it is. And so this is something that you definitely want to take into consideration as you're uploading hardcover books and journals. And so finally, you're just gonna click publish your hardcover book. And so guys, pretty much that is the tutorial or the steps that you would use to upload a hardcover journal, a hardcover notebook, it's the same process, hardcover book period into the Amazon KDP platform. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.
and please stay safe out there. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.